so i'm thinking about doing another tarot reading um so yeah i'm gonna do three pals with three different crystals okay and yeah we're gonna see how it goes so this is a pick a pile reading i did not explain what a pick a pile reading was in my last um, video a pick a pile reading is a reading where you use your intuition oh shit hold on my friend's calling hey guys so sorry about that i had to pick up the phone for my friend really quick So I, oh, look at my Christmas tree over there. Oh shit. It's a little baby tree. But anyways, so I'm going to have three pile decks and um, I'm going to show you the crystals for each pile. So the first pile, pile number one is tiger eye. And tiger eye helps with refocusing with encouragement and with building up the courage to do something so if you feel like this is your energy pick pile number one pile number two is the green venture <laughs> is pile number three is the green venturite it's really pretty and this deals with being comfortable, making yourself comfortable, building harmony and balance, and being compassionate, being empathetic to people. And the very last one is the white howlite. It's really pretty. And this one deals with balance, being at peace, calm, and very zen okay and so pick your piles I'll probably make this one entire video just so that I don't have like five videos posted at once like my last tarot reading so just feel free to speed through down here I'll put the timestamps in my caption but yeah so let's just get right into it I'm still learning to differentiate i'm still learning to differentiate the different tarot cards so if i'm looking at my tarot book just ignore that i'm still learning each card i am very new to tarot like i've only been practicing for a little while so all the cards on in my mind especially since i'm memorizing two decks now soon to be three four or five i'm getting new cards still i'll do an unboxing on that but anyways, these are the two cards that I'm going to be using. Card decks that I'm going to be using. So, yeah. So, let's get into it. Pile number one. A more in-depth. That's what I'll do. I'll do a more in-depth reading. So, this is... Um, this is Tigerwood. I mean, Tigerwood. <laughs> this is Tiger's Eye page. Okay, so... Tiger Eye Protection, Prosperity, and Balance. It's brown and gold, the solar plexus. It's originally from South Africa and Thailand. Tiger eye brings healing. This stone carries both energy of the sun and the earth, combining masculine and fem feminine energies and creating a balance effect. It will energize you when you're exhausted and calm you when you're overexcited. It stabilizes emotions and it's also quite grounding. In ancient times, it was used against the evil eye and still provides a deflecting negative energy or physical or emotional attack. It is also a stone of good luck. It will attract prosperity. It's helpful with working with money or financial decisions. Tiger's eyes support a balanced effect on the body's system, optimizing health and well-being. So, yeah, this is the tiger's eye. And this is mine. Oh, shit. So this is mine. I'm going to use these cards. And then I'm going to use my second pile as clarifiers. So let's just get right into it. As I said before, I like to shuffle my cards in front of you all. Just so you know that 
I am not just picking a pile. Ooh, okay. I'm not just picking a pile. Um, I'm not just picking the cards within the pile so that the reading goes together. Because for some weird reason, people think that. <laughs> so, yeah, but a pick a pile reading is literally when you use your intuition to just pick a pile. And, okay. And, yeah, the pile that you feel most drawn to, of course, take what resonates. This, this card reading, um... A lot of people are going to see it and it's everything that I mentioned is not going to resonate with you. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't because it might resonate for someone else. Okay, So I'm just going to do a three card spread. Last time I said I was doing a three card spread. Okay, this one fell. And I did not. I did like a, <laughs> a five plus spread. Okay, so the first one that came out was the sun in reverse the devil upright and the fool upright so this is the number 19 15 and zero i do not know if those have any meaning to you um maybe this will happen on the 19th 15th or you know maybe this represents like who you're talking about, like a, a date. So the first card we have is the sun, but it's in reverse. And typically the sun in reverse deals with the inner child. If you notice, there's a child right here. And it's just, they're just having fun on the horse, waving their flag. Um, in reverse, it means that you're out of touch with this. So you could have some healing, some childhood trauma to be... You, you have childhood trauma that you need to heal. It could also represent you being out of touch with yourself. You're caught up in your work or school balance. Work, you, like your work and school life balance is out of whack. You're not having fun. You're not doing self-care. You're not doing things that you want. You're doing things you feel you have to do. And this is telling you that you need to get back into being happy you need to refocus you need to do some self-care do some self-love do some healing if your inner child is not healed it's not feeling safe um, maybe something triggered you going back to your family um thanksgiving maybe that's why you have this child inner child that's coming out right now um maybe that's why your inner child is you know being needy right now so definitely do some self-care do some healing um even if it's just 10 minutes out of the day taking time to color i have literally like 10 coloring books i love to color um or maybe watching a movie on netflix on hulu um hbo max of a, a show or a movie that you liked as a child um read to yourself hug yourself um you need to do some healing. Do something fun. Go out and do something that you want to do. Okay? Okay, so the devil card represents the shadow self. The darkness in you that you need to handle. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and read what the book says. I'm going to go ahead and put it here so you guys can see it as well. It says upright. It's upright. So this is the devil card. And it says shadow self. Repression, addiction, playfulness, temptation, and indulgence. And over here it says in order for the fool. That's kind of funny because we have the fool card here. In order for the fool to continue her path towards spiritual fulfillment, she must learn to release herself from her attachments and confront her shadow. This is the lesson of the devil who embodies the shadow self. He may come with many gifts, external objects, or items that she conveys. Believing that, believing that these can either numb the pain of her reality or tools for her to gain strength. Okay? And so, again, the shadow self and the, the inner child kind of go hand in hand. Because this is... 
This is everything that you did not get as a child, all the traumas you experienced, everything that you've seen. And this right here is the darkness that embodied you afterwards. So this is the after effect. And you have to heal yourself. This could be in regards to trust issues they could be this could be in regards to having negative thoughts 24 7 this could be negativity always surrounding yourself with negative people and then in turn you becoming negative and embodying those same traits this could be detoxing your timeline um this could be also deeply within you this could be sitting down with yourself and meditating this could be doing like something like emdr therapy going to a therapist seeing a counselor figuring out why do i view myself so negatively why am i doing things that are self-sabotaging me so that's what the shadow self represents it represents all the darkness and all the imbalance within you that you need to handle and again these go hand in hand and like i said in the book they mentioned the fool so let's get into the fool the card says good friends happiness needing to take a giant leap of forward so i'm gonna go ahead and go look at the fool really quick um i'm just here so this is the fool and it's upright. Upright, the full represents potential, new beginnings, freedom, innocence, blank slate, optimism. So upright, the full is representative of the infinite potential that we all have within us. See, she is the source of primal energy, innocent and free, a blank slate that later becomes molded as she undertakes the path of self-knowledge. She throws her heart into the adventure without fear. The fool can signal the start of a new path, one that is full of risk, but also great rewards. So what I'm sensing is this, after this is healed, after your childhood trauma, your inner child is healed, and after you do some deep shadow work, you have a clean slate. You will look at life so much differently. You will not have this baggage constantly loading over you. You will have like, think of it as like a rebirth. Like he's just like carelessly living his life. He has some friends with him. Well, not really friends, but I mean, animals are friends, but you know, he's just living his life. He has his flowers. You know, he has his little sack with him. He looks like he's just traveling. Like, he doesn't have a care in the world. And, I mean, to some, he looks like the fool. Like, he, but he is, he's okay. You know, I mean, they might think that he's a fool for trusting so blindly or going on with his life. But it's helping him. He's living his best life. So, this could also represent just getting rid of what people's connotations are you are, whatever they think you should be, or, you know, just letting all that go, letting go of what someone else wants you to be, what someone else perceives you as, like, you shouldn't care about that, just go and be the fool, be you, okay, this will... Once this work is done, you will be carefree. You will feel so much better. Your energy will be so much lighter. You're going to attract so much more positivity. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from this beautiful deck. And in this deck, I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some type of advice. Universe. What advice would you, would you like to give pile number two? I mean, pile number one. Oh, I'm not even at pile number two yet. Do you have any advice that you would like pile number one to receive? Is there any advice that you, Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, just going to... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I saw this. I'm just going to get the first one. Um, I'm not going to do a redo of last time. I'm not going to pull a lot of cards, so put this here 
the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups represents apathy, detachment, contemplation, indifference, lack of interest. New opportunities are around the corner, but the Fool is the Fool. Here we go again with the Fool. <laughs> the Fool is too unmet unmotivated or indifferent to see them. They instead feel heavy burdens. Environments and routines can feel dull, uninspiring, and disconnected. The Fool may instead choose to contemplate coming out of these moments wiser within a deeper appreciation for the opportunities that are granted to him so this means that you need to stop looking at what you don't have and appreciate what you do have you know it's kind of like a cloud right here and she's her her arms are kind of folded like she looks upset because it looks like she wants more not realize like it looks like this is kind of like a thought bubble like I don't know, maybe it's a thought bubble and she wants more, but she's not appreciating what's in front of her. Once she appreciates what's in front of her, the universe, this could also represent the universe, will give her more. But since she's upset, you know, she's blocking her blessings. So I think that when you start to realize what you already have instead of vicariously living through someone else or idolizing someone else or looking at what someone else has had look and looking at what someone else has and feeling bad for yourself you need to just appreciate what you have because you don't know what they're doing they could have a sixty thousand dollar car and they're in debt you know, they're not paying their car note. They're not getting their insurance paid. You know, they could have stole that car. It's, you know, they, yeah, they have a nice car, but their house is a mess. Like, they have nowhere to go. They're living couch to couch. Like, or, you know, um, you're idolizing uh, a celebrity or people on the internet. And, you know, their life looks good, but on the inside you know they're having issues they're unhappy they're posting so much and posting everything that they're doing to like convince the world that they're happy and convince themselves that they're happy but when the lights go out when the camera shut down they are still unhappy so this is just saying don't idolize anyone just appreciate what you have your journey is unlike any other do not mess that up okay just follow whoever you believe in it can be the universe it could be a superior like a god a goddess a gods goddesses allah whoever you believe like they're saying once you focused on what you have and appreciate it more is to come okay so that's all i have for you pile number one so yeah okay hi pile number two go ahead and go look for that here it is. It was literally the next page. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And this is what mine looks like. It's a little triangle, a little pyramid type ordeal. Well, it's not really a pyramid, but it's like a triangle. It's really pretty. The color is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you so you get a little bit more in depth. So, the chakras it deals with is the higher hearts and the heart energy. And this, this stone comes from India. The green adventurine is a good luck stone. It attracts opportunity and could screw the odds in your favor. The green adventurine will make you want to leave things to chance. It has a major manifestation power and can attract abundance, money, and success. The Green Adventure Ride is uplifting and energizing. It can create an overall sense of well-being. It shields your heart from negative energy and protects you from your relationships, whether it's with partners, friends, or acquaintances that take more than what, what you are willing to give. This stone also fosters the appreciation of nature and also the loving connection to the earth. It is an all-around healing mineral bringing all systems of the bodies into harmony. Healers also recommend it for agonizing nausea. So this is a really calming, balancing, and good luck stone. So that's what that represents. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle your cards, pile number two. I'm gonna leave this right here. But I'm gonna use this deck 
to tell me your message and then I'm going to use my second deck for your advice. And this is just going to be a three the a three card spread, nothing too major. And it's just going to be a general reading, a general spread, so it's not going to tell you anything too deep like i always say take what resonates and leave what doesn't this reading is for multiple people so of course everything is not gonna fit you specifically unless you do a one-on-one -on -one reading with me which i'll have my prices in the description or caption wherever i post this youtube or instagram so yeah so let's just wait for the cards to fall oh okay <laughs> okay so i'm not gonna take all of these i'm just gonna take the first three okay so we have the ten of wands and it's also the number 10 we have the Page of Swords in reverse. And we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And so the initials P or A might represent something. Um, so yeah, like I said before, I'm gonna be using my tarot book, but I'm gonna first start off by just reading the description on it. It says, Ten of Swords, death or the ending of a situation or relationship. Okay. The next one says, a young woman spying or deception reflecting back over your shoulder. In the same verse. And the Ace of Swords says, frustration, edging sword, hollow victory. Okay. And it says, Ten of Swords, upright, represents... Breakdown, defeat, failure, ruin, relief, closure. And that's kind of how he looks. He's like dead. He has like all these swords in his back. And you know, yeah, he's defeated. And so... Anyways, following the fool on her journey through the swords, we can see her... Coming to a painful end, she has found herself in conflict and under stress. Unable to harness the sword's positive energy, she found herself tempted by its power. She was left with paranoia and fear, knowing that she has used the sword unwisely. Her fears were finally confirmed, leaving her defeated. So, you could be in a relationship, a friendship, some type of toxic relation, and... They have left you for someone else. Your friends have ditched you. Your friends have turned on you. Or maybe you were starting stuff in your friendship, in your relationship. You were, um, you weren't being the most innocent person. Like you, um, I'm just seeing that, you know, everyone has good and bad in them. I'm not calling you evil, but you did some things that you're not proud of and it's left you alone it's left you in conflict people have left your life or yeah you're just alone right now like your decisions have left you in this unwanted predicament okay upright okay so reversed it represents rude insult spiteful manipulation gossip and defensiveness so yeah you have a lot either you possess the okay let me finish reverse the page of swords mentally be used for devious purposes her talent with the war her talent with the word can inflict pain whether covertly or upright she can make stingy remarks creating trouble and rousing anger she may gossip, turning people against one another. While she can be destructive, the Page of Swords may not even be completely aware of her detrimental behavior. So, you may not understand. Like, you may think that you're just being honest, but you're in turn hurting your feeling, hurting your friends, 
or hurting someone's feelings. And you may not even recognize it. You're thinking that you're just being honest or you're just being this. And, you know, you're being true to you, but you're hurting people in the process. And that kind of goes with this. You have nobody with you right now because of your your negativity, your, your bad attitude, your rudeness, um, the way that you present yourself to people. This is why you do not have anyone. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just reading what the cards say. But it could also be reversed. So if you're thinking about someone or if you have someone in your life that's doing this, they're going to be your demise. Well, not your demise, but they're going to be your downfall. Like they, their, their nasty remarks, their nasty energy that's surrounding you is going to make you lose people. And you're not going to have anyone just like they already don't have anyone. So definitely watch the people around you if this is not your energy. But the last card is the Ace of Swords. We have literally a lot of swords energy here. Okay, so I'm going to do the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords represents confusion, conflict, hostility, obstacles, and miscommunication. So yeah, reverse judgment is clouded and there are many confusions over what should be done next. Energy must now be spent searching for answers before pushing forward with plans. Ooh, sorry. This card can also indicate that the sword is being used for brutality rather than truth. So there can be needless conflicts, especially those that arise from lack of communication or understanding. So yeah, this could be a relationship and you guys are being very negative to each other, very spiteful and for no reason other than communicating, like just needing better communication, needing a better understanding of each other. And this, this relationship is probably pushing you away from your friends, leaving you isolated because they're like, oh yeah, I'm telling you, he's not good for you. She's not good for you. They're not good for you. But you don't want to listen because you love this person. And now your friends and your family are isolating themselves from you. Um, it could also be also with the friendship. If your friend is very negative and very just downright Ugh. <laughs> you know, you could be having conflict about whether or not you want to continue being friends with this person. You know, this person might be, might have been your friends for years. Um, they might have been the only person who had you when you were down, but they're still a very negative person and they're still going to have you losing people. So maybe you're contemplating whether to keep this person around or not and whether it would affect who you are and like who you have around you and you know I don't know but it's it's different ways that this can be interpreted so I'm gonna give I'm gonna pull a card for advice um universe what do you want pal number two to know universe can I please get some advice for pal number two universe what does pal number two need as far as advice Oh, okay. So, this is the only one I saw. And it was like this. So, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, I'll do... So, the Queen of Wands upright. Okay, so this is the Queen of Wands. It's a really pretty card. And this is the book. So, the Queen of, up, the Queen of Wands upright represents cheerful extroverted warm fun disorganized sensual and passionate energy the queen of wands burns with a bright confidence optimism and determination she doesn't expect to be liked by everyone but regardless is a charming social butterfly her determination ex exuberates help her to achieve goals fully aware of the influence that she has she loves being the center of attention she has the power to spark a great fire in others okay so this could be saying that if if you're in a relationship that's really toxic this could be saying that you have always been a really good people person people love you people being around you but since you have this negative person this negative partner their or friend they're now people don't want you around people are isolating themselves from you because of this negativity that this person carries that they're changing you they're making you also dark so 
this card is telling me that you need to get back to being your cheerful self that you need to get back to interacting with your friends you need to get back to interacting with your family get back out there go make some new friends um and then not everybody will like you people will still look at you differently because of how you acted with this person or for not standing up for yourself for not leaving sooner um, for continuing to be friends with this person, for allowing this person to get away with so much, people aren't going to want to be friends with you. But that doesn't mean that your old friends or new friends aren't. So definitely put yourself out there. Once you get rid of this person and get rid of the situation, um, definitely, definitely. So this is the king of, oh, I'm sorry. This is the knight of cups in reverse. These cards be so similar. They're They're so pretty but okay so it was in reverse let me put it back so in reverse it represents vain narcissistic scully brooding melodramatic and insecure the knight of cups when reversed may allow the more negative aspects of this character to flourish the appreciation of beauty comes from vanity narcissism can be very dangerous he may also be sensitive to criticism weaponizing his weaponizing his emotions to create disharmony when threatened with prison with criticism or rejection he might find it hard to confront them directly and instead choose to be passive aggressive so i'm sensing that um the person that you're dealing with this is telling me that they're not going to change so whether it's the friend the partner the family member whoever this is whoever the or yourself um whoever this dark person is in your life they're most likely not going to change they are a narcissist it literally says narcissism so if you even if you're like looking back on a situation and you're thinking about going back to this person like after you do your healing and become harmonized again and become balanced you might think about going back to this person do not go back to this person this person is not going to change they might guilt trip you they might make you feel insecure they might do whatever they need to do to try to attempt to get you back but this person is a very dark energy they do not have your best interest at heart they're not ready to handle themselves and deal with their trauma and figure out why they are the way that they are and they're never going to change so the universe is telling you let go of this person they serve you no good okay that's what i'm getting from this card so that's all i have for you pile number two i hope you guys enjoyed the video um if it resonates please leave a comment down below it will help me um but yeah that's, that's all number three. three so this is your stone it's called the white how light it's a really pretty stone i'm gonna go ahead and find it in here and I'm going to go ahead and read you the description. This is the Howlite. And so the Howlite, um, it helps with the crown and the root chakra. It's found most commonly in the United States. It attunes the mind to a higher consciousness while offering a subtle grounding. It steals the mental chatter of the anxiety and stress. Perfect preparation for meditation or deep and restful sleep. How light stimulates inspiration and creativity, opening the mind to fresh ideas. It might enhance your integrity, which makes it particularly helpful for honest communication and difficult situations. If you procrastinate, use it to shift away from your behavior. How light is a stone that promotes preven pre pre preventative care and is believed to strengthen bones and teeth. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what I did to the other piles. This is the pile that I'm going to shuffle and do your tarot reading with. And this is the pile that I'm going to get your advice from. So I'm doing a three card spread with one advice card. Oh, okay. Um, Eight of Wands. Oh, sh okay. <laughs> nine of pentacles and this is the only one that flipped over and it's the six of swords so ugh, let me put these back so 
so this is the eight of wands this is the nine of pentacles and this is the six of swords so how i'm gonna do this is i'm going to read the card read the description and then i'm going to go to my book and read the book's description and yeah so that's how we're going to do this so the eight of wands says speedy news or situation coming arrows of love okay wands represents movement energy swiftness progression sudden change now is a period of swift progression and unfurthered movement profiling the fool towards her goals it may be busy and productive time fueled by newfound Virgo. If she flows with the energy and channels it towards the towards a single focus, she can accomplish a great deal. This is a time for the fool to utilize the vitality and move without delay. So this tells me that something's coming and something's coming fast. This could be the relationship that you manifested. This could be the job you manifested. This could be an opportunity, like um, maybe some type of opportunity for you to move away, some type of um, scholarships, just something is coming and it's gonna come fast and you need to be prepared so Focus your time. Start manifesting. Do not manifest. Okay, I'm not going to say do not manifest. But do not manifest too many things at once. Okay? Try to focus on the thing that you want the most. Okay? Because you have a lot of power right now. So, yeah. This Saturday, there's going to be a new moon and a solar eclipse. And the moon is going to be in Sagittarius. This helps with your beliefs and what you believe in and what you're optimistic about, what you want. So this is a very, very, very good sign to be manifesting and asking the universe, offering, if you are spiritual, offering and, you know, you have spirit guides, offering your spirit guides, offering your ancestors some type of um reward you know they love candy they love milk they love wine offering them some type of reward so that your manifestations can can come sooner um get out there and make your moon water to help you um go charge your crystals like there's so much you can do but yeah the sagittarius is very sagittarius are very goal oriented they think about things in depth before acting on it. And I, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're not just going out and doing it. Like you've been manifesting this for a while. And it's saying that when this new moon comes, focus on that. Okay. Um, you know, the smaller things, that's fine for daily manifestation. But this Saturday, manifest what you really, really want. Plan it out write it every day in the upcoming days write exactly what you want i mean you should be doing that anyways when you manifest writing exactly what you want but definitely definitely try to be very specific because the universe loves playing tricks on you your spirit gods love playing tricks okay they say if you're not gonna do it the right way we're gonna we're gonna you know <laughs> we're gonna give you some bs so definitely focus on manifesting focused on one single thing um so yeah so oh i also forgot to say that eight nine and six those might help you in some type of way a lot of times when i see numbers it helps me so i like to point out the numbers on my cards and numbers that i see so if eight nine and six have some significance to you definitely pay attention to that so the next card is the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles says peace of mind content yeah continent i thought that but i wasn't sure i i wasn't sure if it said contemplation or continent really pretty so it's upright and upright 
It represents achievement, success, prosperity, flourishing, comfort, resourceful. Should the should the fool remain indulgent, she will find herself in the Nine of Pentacles, where she can finally relax and enjoy the fruit in her labor. Her journey has not been easy. She has to be dedicated, resourceful, patient, and even give up the basic comforts. Her rewards have, have been hard earned there is no real stresses for her right now she enjoys the freedom and pleasure pleasure she worked for so yeah this is saying that once you do your manifestations you know you might have to sacrifice the basics so like your short term or smaller goals uh, manifestation goals but by focusing your energy on this one thing you're gonna like you're going to be fucking abundant. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be so abundant that you can just sit back and relax. Like, the universe is saying do this and you will be rewarded very, very nicely, okay? So, the Six of Swords, let me go to that. It says, boat or over water travel, turning a boat out of the troubled water into a calmer water. So, yeah, you might just be getting out of, okay, let me not. Okay, I'm going to read this, and then I'll tell you. Um, the Six of Swords. So, the Six of Swords upright represents moving on, safety, shelter, relief, distance, transition. So, at the Six of Swords, the bull, the bull, the fool bears great wounds and losses. The conflict, the conflict in the Five of Swords proves to be very damaging so she's left searching for relief she finds her safety in calm waters though she could only bring what little she could salvage from the reckoning of her past she may feel defeated but she knows she must move on and transition to a new period of her life so yeah this is saying whatever you're manifesting you may not have ever thought that you would have got because of your past this could be relationship trauma. This could be childhood trauma. This could be just mental illness. This could be a variety of things but that you just overcame, that you just healed for, or that you're in the process of healing for, that you are manifesting to finally, like, maybe you're manifesting a new relationship. Maybe you're manifesting a new person. Maybe you're manifesting... Um, someone who can help you, like a spiritual friend, a spiritual bond. Um, maybe you're manifesting some type of something just to help you or something. And with your past. And once you do get it, you're going to be so at peace. At peace like you've never felt before. Because with the Six of Swords, you've never felt at peace in your past. This is talking about past energy, so... You've never felt this way before. You've never felt so calm. You never had to just sit back and do nothing. So it's saying that all this stress that you were carrying in your past, that you, you're you finally going to see like how far you've come. You're going to look and evaluate like just everything. And you're going to be so happy and so at peace. And you're going to take this as a lesson. And you're going to help other people. And yeah, so... Let me pull a card for that for advice. Let me just get into that. So, universe, what would you like pile number three to know? Okay, okay. The seven of pentacles. Okay. Okay, so I just messed up. I was looking at the six of swords. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I didn't mess up. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I just moved the cards out of place. Okay, never mind. So, the... Nine of Pentacles. So this is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles upright represents harvest, hard work, slow results, long-term rewards. Okay, so the Fool uses the generosity from the Six to Four to pull all of her efforts into developing something for a while. She felt that she was wasting effort. Progress was slow. While patient, her seeds have flourished into a large plant with heavy fruit. With being so focused, with being so focused on labor, she took the time to observe the bloom, 
Finally, at a break, she glazed in awe at her creation. Okay, so yeah, like I said, this, this, okay. So you've been carrying this baggage a while and you are manifesting something that you've always wanted. So if you always wanted peace, if you always wanted the love of your life, something, someone to help you, maybe not even a relationship, but some type of friendship, some type of spiritual bond, some type of person who can understand you, maybe your twin flame, maybe your a a soulmate maybe you know someone maybe that's what you always wanted like some type of compatibility not compatibility um some type of companionship that's what i was looking for companionship um maybe you're manifesting some type of trip because this card also deals with moving so maybe you're about to move maybe you've always manifested having the apartment of your dreams and you're about to move maybe the school of your dreams and you're about to move to the school of your dreams um yeah so basically you feel like this 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 period of your life would have never come but it's finally here and you're just in awe like you've been manifesting this for years months maybe even decades but you know you're finally there and you're so happy and you know, even though it was a slow start, it's going to be so rewarding once it finished. So definitely use this new moon that's coming the 4th this Saturday to manifest. Just manifest and manifest. Manifest the entire day, every hour if you can. <laughs> Just write it down, say it out loud, offer your spirit guides, offer your if you believe in god offer your gods um offer whoever you believe in offer them some type of reward so that they can help you okay so that's it for pile number three i hope you all enjoyed this reading if you've watched all three that's even better but i definitely hope that these three readings helped you all um please like the video please comment because if i feel like I'm not going to want to continue posting if no one is supporting, if no one is, you know, telling me, oh, yeah, that that's helpful. You actually helped me or that's interesting or I want to know more. I want to see more. Give me types of readings you want to see. If you want to see a love reading, if you want to see 18 plus explicit readings, like tell me what you want to see. If you want to see more general readings, if you want to see different types of spreads. Um, like, just let me know what you all want and I will bring the content for you all, but you have to interact or I'm just going to continue doing general readings. If even that, cause I might stop if I feel like no, it's not helping anyone, you know? So definitely keep that in mind, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me. So bye guys.